Welcome back. So, in the previous video, we have discussed with uh, one part of Power BI Desktop, that is developer roles using Power BI Desktop. Now, we are going to talk about uh, Power BI Service, which is uh, a cloud component to perform um, admin activities. So, when I say Power BI Service is a cloud component, uh, then what is Power BI Desktop? Power BI Desktop is a standalone component. So, what is meant by standalone component means in which mission you want to work with Power BI Desktop, we have to install in that mission. So, if I want to install in my mission and if I want to work in my mission, I have to install in my mission. So, that is a standalone component. Means, in your mission, if you want to work on Power BI Desktop, you have to install in your missions. But whereas uh, Power BI service is not like that. It's a cloud component. If you have the user ID password is enough. The credentials if you have, you can just log in into the service account and you can work on. For example, Gmail or Facebook. Uh, we are installing any applications of this? No. We just have one user ID password. We can log in and we can just do our work what you want. So the same way, Power BI service is also an uh, admin component uh, where you can have the credentials. So what will happen after completion of development activities? What is the output of Power BI desktop after completion of development activities means the wonderful and uh, attractive visualizations which converted from the textual to graphical mode uh, using Power Query, Power Pivot and uh, Power View. So wonderful DAX formulas we written and we generated some interesting data insights and visualized that using Power View this wonderful information in an attractive mode and uh, to understand the data in an easier way, we convert these into the reports. These reports we are publishing into the Power BI service account. Once you save that Power BI reports in your local machine and once if you click on publish in the Power BI desktop, it will ask your credentials for Power BI service. So the credentials which you have, maybe the organizational, or like maybe your uh, personal personal mail IDs are not acceptable. Maybe the domain name email IDs are accepted. So you can have a domain exception mail and have a user ID and password. Once if you give them the workspace, Power BI service will have a workspace uh, which is like private workspace. Private workspace. One of the major uh, role that we are going to perform as an admin. The private workspace where you have the public one with the normal account. Once you have an account in Power BI service means the private workspace will be created automatically. So the workspace is like nothing but an a cloud storage of your reports or dashboards or data sets or data flows which you can do as an admin. So now Power BI service uh, will take that report which you published using Power BI desktop, which you developed using Power BI desktop. Once you publish, it will take into the private workspace. In the private workspace, you can access, you can give the access to the other users, but not with the private workspace. You can give with your public workspace, where private workspace is the defaultly created whereas the public workspace manually created by you. So the public workspace will have four different roles. roles. Admin roles, member roles, and contributor, and a viewer. So they have their own roles and responsibilities on the visualization, on the reports that we share, we publish. So. This is the next important concept in the Power BI service as an admin. And the next thing is uh, using data sets, uh, we are going to create the dashboards and the reports. So you can ask me, sir, development reports we are already doing in Power BI desktop. Why again we are doing in uh, Power BI service? Yes, we can do Power BI service. We can report, uh, we can, which the published reports we have, those we can uh, modify. We can modify or edit, we can do some part in the Power BI service. 
So that is like a few development, but we cannot generate measures, calculated fields, we cannot write formulas. Okay, so these dashboards we can build from scratch using the reports which you published. So dashboards can be built only in the Power BI service only. So after completion of the data sets usage and data updates, dashboards and reports, we have to install data gateways, which is the most important role as a Power BI service admin. So gateways are helpful to configure the data source and schedule them according to the client's uh, source system agreement. So once you publish, once you schedule them according to the schedule, the data refreshes will happen and uh, data will get generated and automatically the updated data will be showcased in the reports. So this is all about the Power BI service account where once you get from Power BI service, from Microsoft, the Power BI service account for free for two months. You can get it for two months, but you should have a perfect and uh, exact domain uh, from the domain mail id from the end users means like uh, your uh, uh, but normal personal mail ids are not going to be support to to get uh, an account from the power bi to get the account for the power bi service so this is all about the admin account uh, the power bi service and uh, this is the where you can focus on each component but in the next coming sessions i'll try to tell you again on uh, the other combination of with power bi is adf so we'll talk about adf as well okay so for this for now and uh, this is all that we have to learn and these are the important uh, concepts that we have to work on power bi using uh, desktop and the service account thanks for watching this video and for any questions you can comment us for uh, latest videos to update you can get subs you can do the subscription Thanks for your uh, time, for watching this. Encourage us with your comments. Thank you very much.